Sex is more than an act of pleasure. It's the ability to be able to feel so close to a person, so connected, so comfortable that it's almost breathtaking to the point you feel you can't take it. And at this moment you're a part of them. The hypothalamus is one of the most important parts of the brain, involved in many kinds of motivation, among other functions. The hypothalamus controls the four Fs, fighting, fleeing, feeding, and mating. Some men know that a light touch of the tongue, running from a woman's toes to her ears, lingering in the softest way possible in various places in between, given often enough and sincerely enough, would add immeasurably to world peace. Sex the thing that takes up the least amount of time and causes the most amount of trouble. Sex with love is the greatest thing in life. But sex without love that's not so bad either. Sex is the best high. It's better than any drug. I want to die making love because it feels so good. We are no guiltier in following the primitive impulses that govern us than is the Nile for her floods or the sea for her waves. Everything that truly makes us happy is quite simple love, sex and food. Sex is full of lies. The body tries to tell the truth. But, it's usually too battered with rules to be heard, and bound with pretense so it can hardly move. We cripple ourselves with lies. I'm at the age where food has taken the place of sex in my life. In fact, I've just had a mirror put over my kitchen table. I'll come and make love to you at 5 o'clock. If I'm late, start without me. Women need a reason to have sex, men just need a place. I'm suggesting we call sex something else, and it should include everything from kissing to sitting close together. Sex should be a perfect balance of pain and pleasure. Without that symmetry, sex becomes a routine rather than an indulgence. It is not sex that gives the pleasure, but the lover. There is more to sex appeal than just measurements. The difference between pornography and erotica is lighting.